All right, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick tip in After Effects. We're going to take these Photoshop layers and make them all their own same pre-comp. So what you're going to do with your layer selected in your timeline, you're going to right click and you're going to go to reveal layer source in project and that will find where the file is. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to right click and set replace with pre comp and I'm using it five times and we can see in my layer, my timeline here, one, two, three, four, five. And then if I select this replace with pre comp, it will replace all of these layers with a pre comp. Now, why would you ever want to do this? Well, if you ever need to create some individual animation on a specific layer, I can now go into this individual pre comp and do that in here without having to do it on every single layer. So the reason why I did that for this project is I wanted to take this animation that my friend Mark did for this little vertical spot that we're working on. There's a very subtle puppet warp sort of thing happening on the flowers and I just want to put that all over the flowers in my composition. So I'm going to take this animated flowers, control C, go into my flowers, pre comp control V because it is the same thing. It should theoretically go in and because it was in a different spot in our pre-composition from marks I have to just recenter it and we can see our animated flowers are in here now I do see we're getting a little bit of cutoff here on the top side so I'm going to go into my main composition we can see that it will get cut off just a little bit so you can select all of those pre-comps and then continuously rasterize or you could just make the composition a little bit bigger, but I find that using the continuous rasterization effect uh, is a little bit easier, it saves me some button steps. So now if I play this back, you'll see that the animation comes on and then there's a very subtle amount of flower movement in there. And the way we're able to achieve that fast is by right clicking, reveal source and project, pre-comping, all that stuff. So hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.